Hey my friends, I've got another arrow for us to look at today. Uh, if you've looked at my review videos in the past, we've mostly dealt with Black Eagle arrows. Today I wanted to bring out some Easton Bowhunter 6.5s to look at. Uh, these arrows are advertised at a plus or minus 6,000 straightness. You can get them in 250 all the way to a 500 spine to give you an idea of the weight. The 500 spine is a 7.3 grains per inch. The 400 spine is a 8.4 grains per inch. The 340 spine is a 9.3. So we're going to take this arrow. We're going to spin it. We're going to check the straightness on the machine over there. We're going to weigh them out, see how close they are in weight in a six pack, and uh, let you know what we think about them. So let's go over to the arrow spinner. All right, let's start with the weight test on this one. Just see how consistent they are. 354 353.1 353.1 353.1 Oh, let me get it balanced and touching something. 352.5. So not bad. About three grains difference there. Let me get the scale out of the way. We'll put them on our spin tester. These, of course, take your standard Easton RPS insert. So nothing fancy there. I'm curious to see what this tells us. This is my first time doing this with these arrows. This is our AAE checker here. Wow, that's less than a thousandth. Somebody could probably better educate me because I hadn't asked about these arrows to the rep or anybody, but I think this is just sort of the the old ICS bow hunter rebranded. All right, so we got one, two, three, four thousandths or so there. Still not bad. One thousand. So they advertise these as plus or minus six. So we've really got twelve to play with, and we're nowhere near that. Three and a half or so. Two. about one that's not bad i'm gonna take just three random ones over here to the longer uh span and see if we get any differences all right this one we've got our 28 inch span Ooh, i'm hitting stuff let me clean this thing off a little bit here we go so we're looking at one two three four thousandths We just started fooling with these arrows, and so far, we'll get this over here a little bit. So far, I think they're a pretty decent arrow, for the price especially. Oh, you can't see that, can you? One, about two and a half to three thousandths, that's not bad. I just, I love it when I see these arrows coming in way better spec than what they advertise. One, two, three, somewhere between three and a half and four. Well, there you have it, guys. For that $40 or so price range for six eras, this is going to be hard to beat. With a name like Easton, been around forever. You know, they started in the aluminum arrows, teamed up with Beeman, who invented the carbon arrow. Now they've done away with the Beeman name, and it's just Easton. Uh, but anyway, this is going to be hard to beat way better consistency than what they advertised and the ones we've built they seem pretty tough so uh, if you got any experience with them let us know in the comments if you like this video please hit the like button so it'll tell YouTube that 
you like our content. And if you need to buy some of these, check out our links in the description and it'll help out our channel. Uh, stay tuned for more error reviews. We got a few more black eagles to cover and we may get into a few eastern errors. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you all tomorrow.